Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the new regulations coming out next year, 2023, and that is that all new residential central air conditioning and air source heat pump systems sold in the United States will be required to meet new minimum energy efficiency standards. The last time that they raised these minimum standards was in 2015. I remember that uh, Griffin Air having to change from offering 13 SEER systems, 13 SEER heat pumps up to 14 SEER, and now they're going to be bumping it up to 15 SEER. So basically there's two regions, there's two, you know, there's a line across the United States and the southern states will have to reach a minimum of 15 SEER and the northern states will now have to meet a minimum of 14 SEER. So is this going to change the market a whole, whole lot? I actually genuinely think it shouldn't change it a whole lot. A lot of companies are offering higher SEER options anyway, and it just means that you guys, you homeowners, are just not going to see that, you know, if you were getting a good, better, best option, now you're just going to get a better, best option, you know, or maybe the good option is now going to be just a little bit higher raising all of them. This is nothing new. They'll raise it again in the future. And these new standards require an increase in the heating efficiency of air source heat pumps as well. This is actually measured by the HSPF, which stands for Heating Seasonal Performance Factor. And that will be bumped up to an 8.8 .8 compared to an 8.2 required by current standards that went into effect in 2015. And so the US Energy Information Administration is estimating that this will actually save $2.5 billion up to $12.2 billion on energy bills during the 30 year period following implementation of these new standards. So that's pretty crazy. If you're not sure, you know, depending on what state you're in, I'll put a graphic of that map. Actually, I'll put it up over here. I'll put a graphic of that map and you can kind of see where you are on that line. But again, we're only going up one seer. You shouldn't see a gigantic difference. And another thing I'll tell you, you know, I was going to do a separate video on this subject, but that is a lot of systems that are sold today. So if you see, you know, a 14 seer system, you know, sold, a lot of times, depending on what it's paired with, depending on what the metering device is on the other end, that will affect whether or not you're actually getting 14 SEER out of that system anyway. A lot of times people are putting in 14 SEER systems, but you're really only getting 12 and a half or 13 SEER out of it. I can think of one brand in particular that they'll sell equipment and they'll say, well, you know, to reach that 14 SEER, you got to install that TXV but that TXV has got to be installed in the field. And I know there's lots of companies, I've personally went behind one, that did not install it. They kept the piston that was in that coil from the factory. While they're doing that, you know, while they're leaving the pistons in there and not just putting TXVs on everything, I can only assume is because those coils can be sold to the market above that line as well. So when us guys that are below that line and we have to reach that 14 SEER, which now next year will be 15 SEER, we have to get that TXV installed. Does that mean you're going to be having a hard time finding coils with the piston now? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.